Good morning, you guys. Today is day 14, so today is a weigh-in day. I'm a little nervous because I feel like I ate too many high-fat foods like pecans and um, I had some protein bars with nuts in it. Like, So I feel like I made them overdid it with the fat because when you're on keto, even though it's a high-fat diet, you don't necessarily have to consume a lot of fat because you have fat on your body that your body can use for energy. So it's not a need in the beginning of keto to consume a whole lot of fat. You just want to have a clean diet with your normal amount of fat, a low carb, and then high protein. So I have on a sports bra and I, I'm going to, I have on pants, but I'm going to take my pants off and just be with my bottoms on. You always want to weigh in consistently. You don't want to drink anything and you want to go ahead and use the bathroom before you get on the scale. So I've already told Traylon, do not come out the bathroom because I'm about to weigh in and I don't want him to see me with uh, no pants on. But I weigh in in the living room because my scale is level. Most of my apartment is carpet. So it kind of doesn't level the scale off unless I'm right by the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around so I can weigh in. So I am 166.8, which is about a 0.8 or 0.6 loss, which I'm happy about, but not really, because I have a goal to lose one to two pounds per week. So I'm happy because I'm still losing. So that's a win. So this week, I'm going to tighten up some more. I think I did clean up my dirty keto, but I think I still just took in too many carbs. So that's the negative about not tracking. You don't, re I mean, not carbs, fats. I think I took in too many fats. So um, that's the negative of not tracking. And I'm not tracking right now, so I'm just kind of just doing what I want to do and but I'm okay with that because I know and this is how I coach my clients I do everything in increments so once I get on a really good pattern of eating keto it's kind of second nature then I'll start tracking macros so I can make sure I'm hitting my protein goals staying under that carb um, level that I want and making sure I'm not going over too many fats so I'm still happy about my weight just not as static like I was last time and in the beginning of keto, you're going to lose weight in the first week or two anyway, simply because your body is trying to switch over from carbs to fat use for energy. So now I just got to really, really tune it up some more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. We have two more weigh-ins to get through the 21st and then the 30th and on the 30th i'm going to post my before and after transformation picture from the beginning of the month to the end of the month so always remember fitness fits you